With the potential for disaster to strike, you need to be prepared. But there are things you can do to protect yourself and your family while preparing for hurricane season during the COVID-19 pandemic. Hey, I'm Luch Morales, and this is Houston Happenings. Hi, Corey. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Lucha, for having me. So can you tell us a little bit about how people can prepare for hurricane this year? What's going to be different? So the public needs to understand that their planning may be different this year because of the need to protect yourself and others from COVID-19. We recommend that you give yourself more time than usual to prepare your emergency food, water, and medical supplies. Home delivery is going to be the safest choice for, for buying supplies this year. Uh, we know that might not be an option for everyone, so if you have to do in-person shopping, make sure you practice those guidelines from the Houston Health Department, from the Center for Disease Control, on social distancing, and wearing a face covering when in public. What about the potential need to evacuate if someone gets notification that they are in an area that needs to evacuate or they need to go to a shelter? So we want to assure residents that life safety, no matter the emergency, is that's always going to be our top priority. But we're doing our part to update our emergency sheltering and evacuation plans to include new guidelines and procedures in response to COVID-19. So for example, shelter visitors will be screened before being admitted to a facility. There are new guidelines in place for social distancing, increased disinfection of actual facilities, and we're implementing isolation procedures for symptomatic visitors or those who may have been exposed to someone with COVID-19. Uh, otherwise, plan the same way you would any other year and please include considerations for your family's specific set of needs and that includes making plans for your pets as well. If someone does need to evacuate and they've got to get things together, what, what should they take with them? What is going to be a priority for people who are needing to leave quickly and get somewhere safely? Definitely. So if you need to evacuate, we always tell the public to create what's called a go kit. So that includes some personal items you can't do without during emergency. That includes having important documents, making sure they're in a waterproof bag or container, uh, cash on hand, phone chargers, a portable first aid kit, and some snacks and maybe bottled water as well. And this year specifically, we're telling the public to include items that can help protect you and others from COVID-19. So that includes hand sanitizer or bar or liquid soap, as well as at least two cloth face coverings per person. What about people who might need assistance evacuating um, or people who are trying to stay informed? How, how can they sign up for alerts? And what is the best way to find out what's going on from the city? We say this all year round, timely information during emergencies is important. So you need to register in advance and have something available to you to notify you if you are in an immediate uh, danger zone, essentially. We offer Alert Houston to the public. Uh, this system delivers critical information to Houstonians uh, regarding current conditions, expected impacts, and we provide protective actions so people can keep themselves and their loved ones safe. Residents can sign up for alerts at alerthouston.org. Alert Houston is a year-round notification system that actively sends out notifications for any type of potential weather, traffic, or other current conditions. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Houston Happenings. Make sure you like and subscribe to our videos. Until next time, I'm Lucha Morales, and this is Houston Happenings.